Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft Short Stories. I'm your host Talnos and in this episode today, I'm going to tell some short stories sent in by my listeners on my email. These stories were sent in and I edited them, making some small edits, and I'm going to tell you them today. These are relatively short, so this is going to be a shorter episode today. I may say one or two in the future, but today I have one for you. Thanks to Stanley for submitting this short story, and here we go. Myra slammed her pickaxe into the rock. Level 14, not a speck of iron, she fumed. Pausing a moment, she glanced back at the corridor she had delved. Torches sparkled and dwindled off into the distance, laying an utterly iron-free path back to the surface. With a sigh, she broke yet another block. Beyond was darkness. The cool air of an underground cave wafted into the passage. Well now, she said, a cave brought peril, certainly, but also a better chance at finding iron or even diamond. She broke another block, and she'd hit the cave floor. Worrisome. Anything could stroll to meet her. Water burbled close by, and she also heard movement. Instantly, she swapped her pickaxe for a sword, peering cautiously into the opening. The movement came closer. Myra tensed and prepared to strike. A stubby white head poked into the opening, saying, Bleh. Myra stopped in mid-swing. Bleh. The pale head said again, bumping from one side of the opening to another. Murmur, murmur, another voice said. Myra sighed at the sound. Wando, she said in a mixed tone of surprise and annoyance. It was Wando, the wandering trader, and his useless llamas. Why in blazes? How in the world? She sputtered. How did you get into a sealed cave, almost at bedrock? And why? Murble, Wando replied, gliding forward to prefer his wares. Myra sighed heavily. She didn't have time for this. Yes, very nice. Sand, seriously, you give me sand for an emerald? Wando pressed forward. Trinkets and bits of detritus tumbling from the sleeves. Arg. Mira spat, stepping back. Why would I give you emeralds for this stuff? Sea cucumbers? Moldy dirt? Why don't you have anything useful, like iron? Myra was no fan of the sky. He shoved in the most unlikely of locations, always with the most useless stuff. Two arrows landed with a dull plunk next to Myra's head, reminding her that Wanda wasn't the only creature around. She shoved past her turret to get at the skeleton, shuffling around for a better shot. Plink! Slash! Smash! Arg! She quickly put down the two skeletons in a confused melee that left her panting and injured from two arrows. Murable, Wando commented helpfully. Yeah, yeah, murable, murable. That says it all, I suppose, Myra replied, yanking the arrows out of her armor. Putting out some torches to see what the cave was all about revealed a long, widening fissure with a stream running down the center. A few outcroppings of pitiful copper ore and, she gasped, hidden in a small spur of the cave was a portal. It was shaped like a nether portal, but appeared to be made out of blocks of emerald rather than obsidian. A wavering greenish light filled the frame. Wando and the llamas rushed back and immediately set to interpose themselves between Myra and this most unexpected of sights. Wait, move, she said, elbowing them aside and ignoring the increasingly frantic murble marbles of Wando. The pale green light of the portal made them all look ghostly and strange. Myra turned to Wando and, do you know what this is? She asked, do you know where this goes? Wando somehow managed to look nervous, evasively glancing everywhere but at Myra. He edged towards the portal. Myra saw a glitch of diamond from inside his sleeves. Oh no you don't, she said putting herself between the portal and Wando. Explanations now, she said firmly. That is the end of part one. Hi, I wanted to ask, um, do you have job edition? Cause, yeah, I'm just asking. That voice message was from Flint, and to answer his question, I play on Bedrock, and not that I don't like Java, I just don't play Minecraft on my computer, I play it on my phone, which is the main reason I don't play Java, but I really like Bedrock, it seems a lot more smooth, and the mechanics are a little more thought out in my opinion. I don't have any clue about quasi-connectivity or anything like that, but I really like Bedrock, so I'm content with it. Thank you all for listening, and I will see you in the next episode.